Hello everyone, my name is Jamal and I'd like to welcome you guys to my channel. I just picked this new car up recently, it's a C5 Z06. I don't know if you can tell there, but uh, my ownership experience has been uh, pretty interesting so far, so I wanted to kind of tell you guys about it. Um, I kind of want to make this video a little informal, kind of like a vlog style type video. I want to start doing a lot more of these. So uh, yeah, here's the car and uh, here's my story. Here she is, it's a 2003 Corvette Z06 from the factory. These things come with 405 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, when I picked her up, she was completely stock. Got her in the Electron Blue, which is my favorite color. is the color I wanted. And uh, it's really lightly modified right now. I don't even know if you could even call it that. So far, I've done the uh, tint, which I did 5% all the way around. And also, I had to get rid of that horrendous stock shift knob. Yeah, it's the uh, C6 shifter off of the... Uh, C6 Z06 is see if I can get it to focus yeah there it is uh, also one thing that's not stock on this car was the radio uh, the previous owner put it in but yeah other than that it's pretty much all stock interior wise exterior wise so yeah you're probably reading the title of this video and going why do I regret buying this car first off guys let me start off by saying that when I bought the car I had 135,000 miles on it um, I know that's a lot of miles for a Z06, but I, I went and looked at it. It was a beautiful car. It was a single owner car, which is probably the main reason I bought it. You know, single owner car, that many miles. You don't think you're probably, I'm thinking, you know, someone took really good care of this car. Talked to a whole bunch of my friends that, you know, had some experience with LS, and they're like, yeah, man, those things are really reliable. You should be all right. And uh, I figured I'd rather have money for mods than making payments on a car that has lower miles. So I went ahead and bought the car, like I said, probably about six months ago. And probably about two months ago, I probably had put 2,000 miles in the car. It was probably 137 miles when I was uh, when it when everything happened. But yeah, two months ago, I'm driving home from school. It was really late at night, 2 a.m. We were studying for finals. This is at, right around the time that school got out for summer. Um, but yeah, I'm cruising on the highway, probably doing about 2,000 RPM, and boom, engine just shuts off, makes a pretty gnarly noise, and I'm thinking, you know, this isn't good. And thankfully, there's no one on the highway. I was able to coast off, to, coast off to the side, parked it, called a friend up. We looked at it. We couldn't get it to start up. So, long story short, I ended up getting it towed back to my house. And probably about five days later, I was able to uh, get the uh, car taken apart, see what was wrong with it. You know, I'm, I was thinking, I was hoping it was a valve spring. And so, I took the driver's side valve cover off. You know, all the springs were good. Everything's fine there took the passenger side and I immediately noticed that first spring you can see right there that first spring had broke and I'm thinking okay hopefully this isn't a big deal hopefully it's just a spring that broke I'm able to replace it and uh, I'm back in business so I ordered the I ordered parts new springs valve cover gaskets you know all that stuff and uh, a week later I go to replace everything and uh, when I'm pulling the spark plugs out that spark plug I pulled from the cylinder that where the valve spring broke you can see here, you know, the end of it was pretty messed up. It was actually gone. And so I'm thinking, oh God, you know, this this isn't good. I got one of those cheap cameras that you can look down into the uh, cylinder with through the spark plug hole. I stuck it through. Uh, it's a really crappy camera, so it's kind of hard to tell, but you know, you could I could tell there was something wrong with the car. I spoke to one of my buddies about it. He does, uh, he did the crank pulley. I had the crank pulley replaced on this car too. He did that for me and uh, he said, yeah, man, you probably need to pull the head, check it out, make sure everything's good. So I had it towed to his house. I saved up a while. It probably took about four weeks of me saving up. You know, I'm, ho I'm prepared for the worst, I guess you could say. And so I had it towed over to his house. And uh, he was able to take it apart. He took the head off the car, and, he's, and he sends me pictures. This right here was the head. As you can see, one of the valves is completely gone. The metal is all messed up in that cylinder. And uh, then he sends me a picture of the block. And you can see there, the valve is stuck inside the piston. Uh, let me get some more pictures for you guys, a little more close up. But yeah, as you can see there, the valve was stuck inside the piston. And uh, looks like what saved it from going even farther, like all the way into the motor, was the uh, wrist pin on that uh, rod. So I was able to locate a set of used heads. Thankfully, those are pretty cheap. And I got a uh, rod and piston. I was able to pick those up used for like 60 bucks. So it wasn't too, too bad. But uh, yeah, I got all the parts over to him. He replaced it, put it all together. And now it's running fine again, I guess. 
Uh, I was planning on spending that money on long tubes and uh, air intake and a tune, but you know, stuff happens and it's kind of out of your control sometimes. But yeah, six weeks after it happened, I finally got my car back. It's running great. I'm excited. Um, hopefully, plan on doing either an intake or an exhaust soon. So yeah, if you guys if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna be uploading more videos of everything I'm gonna do to this car. You know my experience with the car, and uh, I really want to kind of get this channel going a little bit. Thanks for watching. My name is Jamal. Peace.